Hello, everyone, and welcome to 1102 English. Wow, you've done it. You made it through, for some of you, your first semester in college. Others, uh, maybe you're returning. Maybe uh, you are a second year student and you just haven't gotten to 11, 1102 yet for English. So, welcome. Regardless, Whatever level you're at, welcome to the class. My name is Mr. Byers, and I will be your instructor for this course this semester. We're going to begin this course on a day in which it feels like spring, and we're going to end the course on a day in which it feels like spring. Uh, January to May, it's going to feel the same. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. Sit back and just. This is what the ending is going to feel like. Wow. How exciting that is. What a journey you're on. Hmm. Um, so I've been teaching this class for uh, many years. Uh, I've taught uh, college for 15 years. I've taught high school for 15 years. I currently teach for Gwinnett County. What's up? At well, Parkview High School. If any of you are a Parkview student, come by and check me out. I'm in room 10103C building. Okay. Um, and if you're not a Parkview student, don't stalk me. <laughs> have enough of those already. So I tell you, half the time I think it's storming and it's just photography coming through the windows. Um, so each week we're going to, I'm going to have a lecture like this. Uh, there might be a few that I don't if there is nothing for me to say. Okay. Um, some of you might have had me for 1101. And so uh, 1102 runs exactly the same. It's it it's different stuff, but it runs pretty much. This should be like deja vu. Are you in a time war? Was this is this August? I know it feels like it, but it's not. It's January. It's a different class. 1102, same structure. So uh, it should be pretty familiar for you. Okay. Uh, the point of this uh, lecture today is to get you acclimated to the class. Get you help you understand how to navigate the course or to find everything and then also i'm gonna go over the first assignment because you have a couple assignments due already this week okay so here we go hold on tight fasten your seatbelt uh when you log in uh to my class make sure you always go to the announcements and read what the announcement is i also whenever i send announcements out i send them i mean whenever i post announcements i send them out as an email as well okay this here says, you know, I'm looking forward to working with each of you this semester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, check Blackboard and what email several times a week. Definitely do that. Watch the weekly lectures like this one right here. Uh, I wrote this before. I recorded this lecture. So when you see your screen, it's going to have a posted video and it's going to have a link there for you to watch it. Okay. Uh, you need to download the list of assignments and due dates document in week one folder and follow it. I'm going to go over that in a moment. It's very important. And then uh, you need to take the welcome quiz immediately. Um, if you don't do this by Friday, then you'll be counted as a no-show. So you got to make sure that you take this quiz uh, before Friday. Okay. Then if not, you're going to be counted as a no-show and then you're going to cry. You're going to be dropped from the class. And then I'm going to have to reinstate you, and it's really obnoxious and annoying, okay? Um, there is no textbook for this class that you have to purchase. It's all embedded in the course, so for you, it's all online. Um, and then um, I'm going to go over my syllabus and the welcome quiz, uh, I'm, I mean the uh, MLA quiz and all that stuff in a moment, okay? All right, so look, here we have announcements. And then we have the weekly lesson, okay? So this is where you need to go. Um, after you read the announcements, go to weekly lesson. This is slightly different. Is it from 1101? I don't remember. Um, this right here, I've organized it where it is literally every week, okay? Um, each, whatever week it is, you go to that file, and in that file, you will find everything you need, including uh, the lecture. I will post each of these lectures also in the weeks that they correspond to. So that way, you can always go back and check them out. Um, 
Easy bib, I'm gonna go over this link today. MLA handbook, uh, that's for you to look at whenever, because MLA is a requirement for this course, which I wanna talk about later, um, but that's uh, uh, an easy access point for your MLA um, stuff. Textbook files, whenever, um, whenever you'll see in a moment where it says like, read this, check this out, okay? Uh, if you go here to textbook files, this has all the things that like uh, you will, that are not stories, but um, instructional information that you'll be reading found in the textbook files, okay? All right, so weekly lessons, go to week one, okay? Week one. Boom, everything you need for this week, okay? Go to syllabus. You need to read the course one, I mean, part one. Um, essentially, this class helps you to learn how to uh, write about what you are reading, okay? The class is, even though this course is writing about literature, this is not a literature course. This is a writing course. Um, we utilize literature to help you uh, learn how to write about what you are reading because in all of your courses, you will be reading their textbooks and their articles and then writing about it. So like in psychology, you'll be reading stuff by Jung and Freud. Um, in history, you'll be reading maybe historical documents by John Adams. Uh, in um, sociology, you'll be reading stuff um, that deals with maybe like by Michelle Williams, um, not the actress, uh, who wrote, uh, she wrote The New Jim Crow and writes about, about uh, racial inequalities in the prison systems, okay? You'll be reading stuff in your courses and you'll be writing papers in your courses about what you've read, okay? So this class is helping you to understand how do you write about what you've read? How do you talk about it? How do you cite it? How do you set up essays uh, in, at, at the collegiate level? And, where you, and then how do you to incorporate quotes into what you have written? Okay, um, from what you have read. So while we focus on literature, such as fiction, poetry, um, and um, and you'll read a, no a novel, uh, the course is not actually a literature course. It's a writing course. Okay. Um, and the most important things to pull from this is not what we've read, even though hopefully you'll enjoy what we have read, but the skills you've learned on how to write and discuss what you have read because in college you have to be proving yourself all the time with what you have what you have to say okay so read that okay and then academic policies okay and then read buyers policies this is i'm conceited this is really the most important stuff okay okay so here are my specific things that you need, you need to understand for this course to do well this is my email address. Email me here, okay, if you have questions. I get it on my phone, I'll respond within two days. And if I don't respond two days, don't send a nasty email. Just say, hey, buyers, not sure if you saw this. I was wondering, blah, 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 because I get a lot of emails. Um, everyone will be held accountable to what I post in the announcements and also for what I say in the lectures, okay? When I post a video lecture link, it is required to be viewed. Announcements are required to be read and lectures are, be, are required to be viewed. Students will be held accountable to everything I discuss in these videos. Any type of specific directions or points that I make in these videos will be expected to be followed by all students. I had students, students in the past who, they just wouldn't watch the lectures. And then they would get points off on their assignments and they would be all pissed off. And I said, well, did you watch the lecture? And they go, no. I said, well, that's your fault. If you'd watched the lectures, you would have known to, to have done X, Y, Z. Okay, so you gotta watch the, the lectures. You have to read my announcements, okay? All right, um, the look. The course is weighted out 100%. 20% of this class is all the assignments put together. All right, the other 80% is the three essays you will write. 
which means that the essays, the essays are the most important part of this course. You could, if you make it 100 on all three essays, you don't have to do any of the assignments and still, you could still make an 80 in the class. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, now of course you should strive to make an A in the course um, and in order to have an A, you need to do the assignments as well, okay? But if you don't do one essay, your grade will drop. Like if you don't, let's say you, you don't do essay one, the highest grade you can get in this course is, is an 80. And that's if you make a 100 on everything else. If you don't do essay two, then the highest grade you can get is a 75 if you've made a 100 on everything else in the course. Same thing with essay three. If you don't do essay three, the highest grade you can get in this course is a 65. That's not good. Okay, so you have to do all the essays. You cannot choose not to do one, okay? And I don't drop the lowest essay, so you need to do well on all of the essays. Late policy. Grades for late assignments will start at 70. If the work doesn't meet the requirement or, or in poor quality, then a grade lower than 70 may, may be given. All work can be turned up can be turned in up until the I grade it, meaning if the assignment is due on Monday, but I don't start grading the assignment until Friday, there is no grade deduction if you turned it in late, as long as the assignment was there by the time I started grading it, okay? Now listen, you have a total of 17 classwork assignments, 17 classwork assignments that go into this 20%, which means that each assignment is only about one point one point. 1.15 percent okay which means that you cannot complete seven assignments and still get an a in the class if your essays are good enough in fact the three essays that you are going to write this semester are worth a total of 80 percent as i've already already discussed okay um so all this is says that i'm not going to break my back creating a bunch of late classroom assignments that won't even cause you to fail okay so um, I am not I am not promising you that I will I will grade late essays because your essay if you get a zero on an essay then you then you won't do well on this course so then if you turn that essay in late cool I'll grade it but the highest grade you'll get is a seventy okay once you get a zero on an essay in the grade book the highest you can get is a seventy on that essay okay. Um, and then once you get a, a zero in the gradebook for an assignment, a missing assignment, uh, you can still turn it in and you might get a 70 or if I'm, if, if I'm overwhelmed with too much stuff, I will totally ignore late assignments turned in, okay? The only late assignments that I guarantee I'll grade are essays, but the highest grade you'll get is a 70. So it's not worth turning it in late. You want to get it turned in uh, on time. Um, but uh, there is no guarantee that I'll that I will grade late assignments. So, like, if the end of the semester comes and you did pretty well, pretty well, on, you made A's on all of your essays, but you only did, but you did less than half the classwork assignments, and you have an 88, and then uh, the last week you turn in like 10 missing assignments, I'm not going to grade those. Okay, like that's no, you should have turned those in on time. All right, this is college. So uh, do not um, expect me to go out of my way to grade your late assignments since they're only worth 1.1%. But I will grade. Also, if you get a zero on an essay, don't email me asking if you can turn it in late. That annoys me because I've already said you can turn in late essays for a 70. You don't need to ask permission. Okay. Um, so, you know, and I don't give essay extensions because I take like, like a week to grade the essays. I have four of these classes with 20 kids in each class. So that's 80 essays. So if the, if the essays do on Monday, I'm not gonna finish grading all these essays until like Friday, probably. So if, it, if it's due on Monday, don't email me saying, Byers, can I have an extension of three days? Can I turn it in on Wednesday? 
because more than likely, I won't have all the essays graded by Wednesday anyways. So there's no reason for me to grant you an extension when you can turn it in on Wednesday and still get full credit because you don't get a zero until I've graded all 80 essays. And then I put zeros in for whichever ones haven't been turned in. Okay. So there's always going to be like three day minimum grace period between the due date and when I actually get around to finishing all the stuff. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, okay. So that's the syllabus. All right. Boom. Next. Going back. Week one. Here we go. List of assignments and due dates. This is a super important document. Please, every single person should be referring to this. Okay. Look, the um this course, all the courses at PTC are pre-made. Like someone could be hired on Sunday and come in and start teaching this class on Monday and they just follow the pre-made course. I don't do that. I like changing things up and doing what I want to do. Okay. So I've changed everything. I've done everything. Um, but sometimes there are random things on the school calendar for the web for the for the for on Blackboard um that uh people think is or is due an assignment that's due okay and even though i've deleted it from the grade book it's still there on the calendar okay so i want you to totally ignore the blackboard calendar for this class i don't even know where the calendar is oh i guess it's right here okay like whatever is on here i don't know what's on here it completely ignore anything that's on here for this class this is not the calendar for this course okay i wonder if i can delete it can you delete this oh yeah I just hide the link. Yeah, I'm hiding it. Okay. I don't even want you to see the calendar. Okay. Uh, don't follow the calendar. The only thing I want you to follow is under, is in week one. If I can go back to it. Um, the list of assignments and due dates. This right here, that is what you follow. Okay. Which is this document right here. English 11 of 2. Oh, this is a fall. Don't worry. I changed everything. It should, it should say spring. Spring 2002 assignments and due dates. Okay. All right. Um, assignments won't be graded to at least 5 a.m. day after the, the due date. Okay. So this is, so look, while this says is due uh, 115, 11, 59 p.m., I'm not going to grade it until possibly Monday. 7 a.m. So don't don't email me saying, buyers, can I turn it in Sunday you know night at like 3 a.m.? Just do it. Okay. Do it. Um so it tells you the due dates, gives you the the uh the week number, week one, week two, week three, whatever. And look, this right here, this week one correlates to the weekly lessons. So like week one here. Here, this is easier. Okay. Week one. Can I just move this thing over? Thank you. Week one is week one here. Week two, all the stuff that deals with week two is right there. Week two, all this stuff that is in week three is right here, or at least is going to be. Um, I don't really want you to move faster through this course than what uh, I'm, than what I have designed. I don't have everything in these files yet. I'll be adding to them uh, the prior week. Um, so like week one is finished totally. So this week I'll be adding stuff to week two that I'll be going over in my lecture. I, I try to, to um, post lectures uh, on Fridays, the Friday before the week. But sometimes I don't post the lecture in, until that Monday, okay? So uh, I don't want you to move ahead because you might miss some instruction, all right? Especially because I go over what I want you to do in these lectures. So I don't really want you to get started on something prior to watching the lecture about it, okay? 
All right, so this tells you what I'm, what I'm going to discuss in my topics. These topics can change. I might, I, you know, I might, let's say like next week, this right here takes me 40 minutes just to get through. Then I might push one of these to later. I might swap some things, okay, for the most part. Uh, so I might realize that like after essay one, um, that like I really need to focus on talking some more about a concept that no one seemed to be doing well and then i might throw that into week seven okay so you know these things sometimes change the lecture topics okay um, but like today i'm discussing schedule and policies navigating blackboard which i'm showing you right now understanding what's due that's right now i'm gonna go over the library assignment and easy bib and proper mla heading and semester independent book all that by the end of, the, of this uh of this lecture okay if lectures span longer than then you know if, if it's like it seems like it's going to be like an hour long i might break them up into two separate videos two separate 30 minute ones so sometimes I, some lectures i have um made where i pre-recorded uh the content like especially when i go when i do these um when i go over like story of an hour analysis the Dutchess Woman analysis. These I recorded like three years ago, and I still use them because um, they are. Um, I don't need to read them. It's the same information. I just need to do it once. So some of those uh, you might watch, and you might be like, "His hair is like a lot longer," or uh, "He looks fat in that video." <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if I look fat in any of the videos, but you know, I look different, probably because it was like three years ago um or he looked thinner um so just know that okay most of these are all original and new right now um but sometimes i post ones that um are from a prior um time okay all right so these are the lecture topics um these are what's what you have to do okay the things that are bolded are like for grades um, and the things that are not bolded are things that you just are responsible for doing, okay? It's like watch, watching this lecture. This lecture is not a grade, but it, it will negatively impact your grade if you don't watch it because you'll probably miss some stuff and not do what you're supposed to be doing. The welcome quiz, um, which I'll show you where to do that. The MLA quiz, make sure you watch this lecture before taking that, which the only way you would know that is, it, is if you're currently watching the lecture. If some of you try to take the MLA, the quiz, and didn't do well, and now you're watching this, ha <laughs> ha, I'll show you how to do well on it next time. Um, I'm gonna go over finding sources assignment today, the discussion one post, and where to find the story of an hour for you to read it, okay? Cool, so this is, I mean, this, this right here is your roadmap for success in this class. Do not ask me about an assignment that is not on this sheet, okay? If it's not on this sheet, you don't gotta worry about it, okay? Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, back to week one. All right. So listen, the welcome quiz, you need to take this right now. I mean, if you want to pause the lecture, go to week one and do the welcome quiz. All it is is saying, click yes. And then I, I mark you as present and you don't get dropped from the course. All right. So you have to do that. The quiz, MLA formatting and documentation. Okay, so listen. Um, this quiz goes over uh, required MLA information that you need to know from English 1101, okay? Uh, I hope that if you had, if you had any from, English 1101, you would you know all this stuff. If you had someone else, I hope they taught you all this stuff, okay? But honestly, looking at this quiz, it goes over things that I don't think everyone did, okay? Even myself. So um, what's annoying about this is that, like, you can't access some of these other assignments. This, this assignment, you can't access it if you don't make at least an 80 on this quiz, all right? The school has made it that way. So you have to score this 80, and you can take it multiple times. Um, but like, it's annoying for people to have to take it, fail it, and then retake it, okay? 
So what I did was um, I um, am posting for you this study guide, this MLA formatting study guide. Okay, this is, does not have answers. This pretty much has all the questions. Okay, you need to be able to answer all these questions. These are the, these are the questions from the quiz. Okay, so if you can answer all these questions, then you'll do fine on the, on, on the test. All right, you have to make an 80. All right, which means that 15 times 0.8 is 12. You can only get three questions wrong. All right. Now look, but there's one question on there. And I don't. I didn't make the quiz. There's one question that every single person is going to get wrong. Okay. Um, which is why I give a five-point curve. Uh, after everyone takes the quiz, I go in, I look at the uh, at everyone's uh, answers. I mean, not answers. Their their grade, and I add five five points. Okay. Um, so that means that like those of you who make an 85 will make a 90. Those who make a uh, 90 will make a 95, and those who make a 95 will make a 100. Which means that really. You can only miss two questions because you're you're guaranteed to miss one of those because one of them is like is wrong, and so um, that means you can really only miss two questions. So you need to make sure that you know all the answers. Your your goal is to make a ninety or a ninety five on this on this uh, quiz, so that way then uh, you can move on to the, to the next work. Okay, I've given you the questions. You need to make sure that you can answer all of them correctly. It's multiple choice. Okay. So um, people are like, hey, buyers is, is question five, buyers is question 12. It's randomized for every person, so it's always a different question. It's, it's the same question, but I always forget which question it is that's wrong. People tell me, I don't go in and change it beforehand. I just give people five extra credit points, okay? But it is annoying, though, because it is like people can't move on without doing well in this quiz, all right? Make sure that you uh, study for that and write notes down. Write your answers down and then do the quiz. Okay. All right. Um, there's that. So MLA formatting doc documentation quiz. The MLA study guide questions to know. Okay. So make sure you know those. Maybe I'll put that up there first. There we go. All right. The semester novel requirement. On this. Open this. Read this. This is, um, all right, so you need to select a novel to read this semester. And by select, I mean you need to find one on your own, okay? You will write about this novel in essay three, literary analysis, okay? Um, your novel cannot be a book that is commonly read in school, for example, but not limited to. Anything Shakespeare, uh, The Great Gatsby, Of Mice and Men, The Odyssey, okay, uh, Fahrenheit 451, Of Mice and Men, all those books, all those books. No, you're not reading those books, okay? I want you to pick, uh, I prefer it to be a newer book, um, and I want it to be a book of interest to you that you, in, that you think that you'll enjoy reading, okay? It needs to be a narrative, meaning it needs to tell a story, all right, and it should be fiction. All right, some books can be nonfiction, um, but I think it would be best if it was um, a fiction novel, okay? Um, you'll be, again, using this for essay three. This is week one, and you have 16 weeks uh, to write about uh, until your paper three is due, but, we are going to be start writing essay three week 12. So you really, if we take away this week, because you're fighting the book, and so we say from you know next week, you really only have about 10 weeks to read this book, okay? Uh, so you need to find the book pretty quickly. You don't have 16 weeks, you have 10 weeks really to read and, and finish this book, okay? Uh, these are some really good books. We Cast a Shadow, uh, Leave the World Behind. That's a great book. Native Son. It's an older book, but it's not frequently read in schools. Piranesi, great book. Uh, I just read this book. 
Ah, where, where are you? Oh. Over the break, I read all her little secrets. It's a, it's a crime novel. That's good. Okay. So, you know, you can, um, maybe some of you got, got books for Hanukkah or Christmas or uh, Festivus and um, over the holiday break. All right. Uh, so if you're not sure what book it is that you're thinking about doing, you can um, email me if you have a question about it. Um, I am going to put up uh, sometime around week three. It's not on this sheet right here. Um, but I am going to put up around week three a form in which you'll fill out stating which book you are reading. Okay, so you need to find a book that you read. All right, and um, it would be great if it's a book that you've never read before. Okay, all right, cool. Um, I'm going to pause part one. Um, actually, no, I'm going to end. This is gonna be the end of part one um, lecture. Uh, I have to go to a meeting anyways, um, and we still, I still have to go over the library research. Uh, I meant the annotated bibliography, the easy bib, proper MLA heading. So um, I think 30 minutes is good for part one, and you can take a break and then watch part two later. Okay, okay, alrighty now, enjoy your break, Bye bye